Weather Authority local forecast. Got ourselves a beautiful day turned beautiful night here in our neighborhood. And yes, we do have uh, colder conditions in the waiting. Let's take a look at your RV World Yuma Sky Cam, giving you a glimpse of the bright lights of the city of Yuma. And here's what else we got going in regards to your satellite radar. You can see, if anything, just a little bit of that cloud coverage. Other than that, it's pretty much all but faded out. So when that happens, it's like taking the blanket you know, just offer yourself when you go to sleep at night. You're going to be a little bit on the nippy side, and that's exactly what we're going to be as we continue to progress through the evening. And speaking of which, we do have a freeze warning in effect for tonight. We're talking about the Welton Tacna area going all the way to Dateland, as well as Quartzsite and Blythe and many areas of the Colorado River corridor north of Yuma. So, uh, yeah, it is going to be close to freezing in many respects. Well, here's how things are rolling for us as of right now. We're talking about Temperatures ranging from uh, the mid-50s to the high in 40s in some outlined areas in the Imperial Valley. And then we go over to the Gila Valley. You can see that we're dealing with a similar temperature spectrum, with a little bit more added to it, of course, but we're talking you know, mid, low to mid-50s for the most part. So that's kind of what we're dealing with with the temperatures as of right now. We could actually get into the low 40s, in some cases even the high in 30s later this evening. Now, your future cast, there is that trough, that bowl formation, making a shift further to the east. we got a high pressure that's going to build, but it's not the very strong type of ridge. It's a very weak ridge, but it will bring our temperatures up into the low end 70s briefly, but you can see that uh, that trend will continue at least through Sunday. And of course, with that being said, we do have a moisture stream development that's going to begin happening over the weekend. So they could cause some flooding in central, the northern California, even up in the Pacific Northwest as well. There it is right there. We call this the Pineapple Express, especially if it goes for a certain period of time. But uh, yes, this atmospheric river definitely going to be showing its way uh, to the west as we get on into the weekend. Here's what we're looking at with your Metrocast, 45 degrees by 8 a.m. So off to a pretty cold start and then we'll be in the mid 60s by the mid afternoon before we start to bring those temperatures down even further. And of course, your air quality index brought to you by the Imperial County Air Pollution Control District. We're looking pretty good in that particular respect. And uh, the same goes for Yuma as well. Your Yuma International Airport extended forecast. You can see that we are going to rise into the 70s, hence the high pressure. And then we start to sink the temperatures down into the 60s. And oh, yeah, there is a chance of rain on Tuesday. Just saying. And then, of course, we are going to get into the 60s as well in the Imperial Valley. When we get there, the chances of rain a little bit higher as well by the time we get to Tuesday. And then, yes, we start to get a little bit more on the frigid side in the days following.